Now, we have two very special guests on the sofa this morning. Nine-year-old Maya and her mum, Lauren, have had their lives completely transformed thanks to, thanks to some amazing eye technology. Yeah, they travelled to the US to receive treatment from a specialist in the field who has not only given Maya a very, very cool prosthetic eye, which you're going to see in just a minute, but also changed yeah. her life completely. And you're just absolutely buzzing to be in here today. We're delighted to have you both in. Thank you so uh, we've much. We've had good fun this morning, haven't we? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, and you notice some of the crew dance in the ad breaks. <laughs> Weirdos, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, a little bit weird. Uh, thanks so much for no, coming No, thank in. you for the invite. It's no, fantastic it's great to, to be have here. You. Um, right, micro... Thalmia. Yes. That's the condition you have in your it eye. Is. Tell us about it. Um, so basically, it's um, classed as small eye syndrome, so her eye didn't develop properly in my womb. Um, I didn't find out until she was born, um, but since then, she's had to have facial expanders to help her face grow at the same rate. Um, we've had 24 surgeries. 24 yeah. surgeries? Uh, skin grafts, fat grafts, uh, granulomas. We've had infections. We've had failed appointments. Yeah, there's been quite a lot. Um, but obviously, I found the guy in America and we went out and it's completely transformed our lives. But before you found the doctor in America, yes. what, what was like, life like? How did um, Maya, you know, navigate it for, from a day-to-day -day basis? She was she had vision from one eye. Yeah, so she's been blind since she was born. Um, she wasn't meant to walk until, well, the advised, like, 18 to 24 months. She smashed it at eight months. I, do you know what? I'm not surprised. Me yeah. and Maya, I'm don't just get, not surprised. She's clumsy, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> she can do anything that every other child can, which they told us that she might struggle with so she yeah. smashed all the odds and she's just absolutely amazing everything she applies to she just she's out the water with it Maya you walked into a whole room full of adults this morning in makeup and you're chatting to everyone I mean you called me Craig David quite a lot which <laughs> you know it kind of upset me a little bit right um, but you're great we're delighted you're here and you were telling me this morning about what it was like before you got your new eye and what school was like so tell us what that was like it was tough wasn't it it was very tough I got bullied quite a lot I got called rude names, I got picked on a lot. I got, like, I wasn't allowed to play with anyone. People wouldn't really let me play with anyone. Oh. Well, they were missing out on a yeah, wonderful wow. friend. Lauren, OK, that so been... that's on them. Look at you now. Oh. Wow. That must have been really hard for you, Lauren. It really was. It's like just seeing her, cos I think when she was younger, she didn't realise, obviously, the comments and everything that people would make, but when it's at home of how she was feeling, yeah. she then stopped going out, she didn't want to go to school, she was going in crying, she was coming home crying. Um, so we arranged some counselling for her and it was one of the best moves that I've ever done and we've just kept going and going and going and now I've got my baby girl back. Do you know, we, we meet a lot of brilliant young people who come in and they've been through various operations and coming out of school for all those operations, 24, and yeah. it, it hinders that development. Yes, it, it does. It's yeah. not just the physical side no. of things, all those little things. It, it makes life tricky, doesn't it? Those yeah, it really, it really was. I just... She, just so upset, and she's the most outgoing, loveliest kid. Yeah. And but now she's got, we've got my little girl back, and her, <laughs> and we're happy, smiling, and like obviously we've been alive for nine years, but we're now finally living, Some... which is just. Fantastic. Sometimes you've got to go through those rough bits to you shape do. you as a, uh, as a person, and yeah. you have got some serious sass, Maya. Right? <laughs> you do. Can you tell us about your new eye? It, like, when you, like, like, when it's not in the light, I think, it, like, the pupil goes smaller. Right. But when it's in the light, it goes bigger. Yeah, so it's, it's um, a trick of the eye. So, basically, the pupil will dilate. Um, okay. to, to the eye, um, which is obviously what we've gone over for, and you can't even tell. Could, could, I didn't know you didn't know this morning. morning <laughs> I was thinking, is that Maya? Because I wouldn't have ever known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the game you made me play this morning? You made me play Guess the Eye. Yeah, yeah I know, and I really had to guess. That's the thing. A lot of prosthetic eyes, they don't move, they're static. Yeah. Whereas your new eye behaves much like the it other does, one. It does, yeah, yeah. So it's obviously it's molded to the fat grafts that have been moved from a tummy into her eye, and um, it moves with. It's not in sync, but it's movement, and it's fantastic. So 
And but... he, gave, he gave you some other eyes as well, didn't he? Yeah, well, we, we've asked for a little special <laughs> one for had, her. You've had a sp few special upgrades, <laughs> have you? Yeah. Would you be able to show us one of your eyes yeah. at all? OK. Now, while, while um, Maya shows us, yeah. I'm going to ask you some questions about the doctor in America. Now, I know that you were, um, you you were searching and searching and searching, weren't you? Yes. For, for uh, this treatment. Yeah. How did you find the doctor in America that has designed these brand new so, eyes? So, basically, I have scouted every artificial eye um, examiner in the UK, pretty much. I've got them on Instagram, I've got them on Facebook, I've got them on, obviously, all the reviews, and I've just followed and followed for a few years. Here she is. That is cool. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. That is cool. Oh, my... And you did it so quickly. That's so cool. Look at oh, you look like a superhero. It's I've a love heart. It's a love heart with oh, rainbow. And what else does it do? It glows in the dark. It glows Stop in the dark. It. I do you know how many nine-year-old boys out there at the moment are going, <laughs> I love her? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this is your TikTok. So you're a dancer. You do dance moves on TikTok. And the eyes glowing, Joe. Look. Yeah. Nothing is stopping you, Maya. Yeah. Nothing at all. Not and, and you're good at football as well. Very good at football. And you've got a, a favourite footballer. Who's your favourite footballer? Joe Scott. Wow, OK. Yeah, we, we love a bit of Joe Scott. Um, you had to do a lot of fundraising to pay for this. Yes, it's not I did, cheap. yeah. Uh, talk to us about that. Um, so, basically, we raised the funds. So, we had three eyes made. We had the bionic one, which is the one with the dilating pupil. We had the fun eye, which is the one she's wearing now. She designed herself. Um, and then we have a backup eye. So, basically, this backup eye, for when we go to get the next mould, as she grows, um, is slightly bigger. So it'll start expanding the socket ready for the next treatment that we're going to go over and get. And obviously getting over there is not cheap and um, staying over. But her first sequence of treatment was six solid intense days. Mm. Whereas now when we go over, we can fly over. We've only got three days because the main base is made. And then we just fly back. Lauren, how much do they cost? Um, so the four thousand six hundred pounds per eye. Um, and then obviously when you've got to get out there and get back. Um, but we've agreed to go every eighteen months, and Mummy's going to be working some extra hours and some saving into it, so we can get over. And then we're going to try and make a little bit of that's our holiday, whilst we're out there. Um, well, um, yeah. do you know what? Do you know what we should do? I think we should get you another eye. I think we should buy you an eye. No. Yeah. yeah. We'd like to buy you an Oh, eye. no, you won't. Yes, oh, we will. Because you're going to make me cry. Oh, look. Please don't. Would, yeah. would you like that? You can have anything you want on it. You oh, choose Christ. it, OK? We'll get you another oh, eye. You made me cry. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Wow, you right. deserve it, because oh. you are such a brilliant young lady and you've proved all those people oh. who are nasty to you in school how wrong they were. Yeah. Are you loving school again? Yeah, we've, moved, we've moved to schools and, oh, my God, she's just flying. You... It, the school is way better. Is well, it? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Do you know what? When you come in this morning, I thought, this little lady has got some real magic about her, and you really have. Do you know what You've I thought? You've got some serious sass. I thought, here comes trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why she called you Craig Davis. That's why she called me Craig Davis. <laughs> um, Maya, would you come back and show us your new eye? <gasps> yes, yeah. is that OK? Yeah, All thank right. you so Lovely. much. Oh, my gosh, thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming on. No, thank, thank you. you for having us. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's great chatting to you. Um,